welcome to a new video on tech tips from CMM XYZ. This video has three tech tips that might help you while programming in PCDMS. The first tech tip is point nominal deviation. This option can be found in edit, graphic display window, point nominal deviation. This option is useful when there is an update or changes on an existing CAD file. In this program, we can see that there are points which are not on the CAD model. Using point nominal deviation, we can define a tolerance value and PCDMS checks the nominal for any point features in the measurement routine and compares them against the CAD model. In the point nominal deviation dialog box, we have find nominal tolerance. This box defines the tolerance value that are allowed for point features. The points that are not on the CAD and exceeds the tolerance value from the CAD turns red. Let's set the fine nominal tolerance to 0.07 inch, which means points which are out of 0.07 tolerance from the CAD will turn red in the list. Next, we have deviation cutoff. Points whose deviation from CAD model is greater than or equal to the cutoff value is listed. Now set the deviation cutoff to zero, which means the points which are on the CAD model with zero deviation along with all the points deviated from the CAD model will be listed. Click on update and click on OK to the warning message. You can see that all the points in the program are listed and the points which are out of tolerance from the nominal value turns red. To ignore the points which are on the CAD, let's give a deviation cutoff value of 0.02 inch. Now when I click on update, the points which have a deviation equal to or greater than 0.02 from the CAD will be listed and the points which are out of nominal tolerance will be in red. Then we can highlight the point and see that override option is available. Click on override and an override dialog box shows up. Now we can select the surface on the CAD. PCDMS will show us the closest point to the CAD. If we want to move the nominal to the selected point, highlight the point and click on override. Then in point nominal dialog, the current coordinate system differs from the CAD coordinate system. Then if we click on move feature, the nominal coordinates will be changed to CAD coordinates. I'll go ahead and do this for all the points on the list. To apply the changes, click on OK. In the graphic display window, we can still see that the points are not on the CAD. This is because the measured coordinates are not matching the theoretical coordinates. This would be the second tech tip in this video. We can change the measured coordinates to nominal coordinates by going to Operations, Features, Reset Measured Values to Nominals. Here we have an option of changing the coordinates of all the features or just the current feature where the cursor is placed. Let's click on all and now all the points will be at their nominal coordinates. The third tech tip in this video is changing the background color of the graphic display window. To change the background color, go to edit, graphic display window, screen color. In this dialog box, we can change the color of the background or add an image to the background. Also, you can change the color of the feature selection in the highlight section. Let's change the background color of the screen in this video. Select the gradient side. If we select bottom in the drop down list, then the secondary gradient will be at the bottom of the screen and the primary gradient will be at the top. This rule applies to all the sides in the drop down. Left click on the color box and choose the color of your choice to change the color of primary and secondary gradient. Then click on OK to apply the changes. This was the video, guys. Thank you for watching the video.